Hey there, car friends. A faulty key fob. Who hasn't dealt with that, right? This small thing can throw off your entire schedule. I mean, it can stop you from being able to get in your vehicle, let alone start your engine. So let's go over what you should do. The most common culprit behind an electric key fob's failure is, you guessed it, the battery. Since it's such a common problem, it's a good idea to keep some spare batteries or a backup key fob on hand. Now, if it looks like it's more than just the battery, you'll need to decide whether it's worth fixing or if a replacement is a better option. Here's some steps that you can take. You can try to take the key fob apart while carefully checking that none of the buttons are out of place or broken. Your key fob spends a lot of time being jostled around, and the buttons can be broken or stuck, and adjusting them might be just the trick. You can also take it in to be professionally examined. Depending on the maker model of your car, a new key fob can be as low as $50, but in some cases it might be more expensive and cost you a fair amount of money. But I wouldn't let that deter you from getting it replaced. You do not want to overly rely on a glitchy key fob and risk getting stranded somewhere. While it's never fun to be caught off guard by a key fob malfunction, it's important that you stay calm and consider your options. Even if you normally use a button to unlock your car, there's often a physical key stored within the fob. At the very least, you should be able to use it to get inside your vehicle. Although, depending on the vehicle, it might not work for starting your car. Some push button ignition systems may have a place to insert the physical key and allow you to start the vehicle, generally near the steering wheel. So the best solution to the broken key fob is preparation. Always keep a spare key around and pick up a replacement key fob or a key fob battery at your local AutoZone. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.